Thanks for joining us at 6 a.m. everyone. I'm Eric Connard and I'm Netta Irampour. Glad you're with us here and we are getting you ready for the rain of this week. This all comes as Governor Gavin Newsom proclaims a state of emergency for the entire county as well as seven other counties across our state. So we have team coverage this morning. CBS 8's Regina Yurita live in Mountain View with more on how that region is preparing. But first, meteorologist Evan Rani tracking the latest conditions. Evan, what's happening to the north of us? Pretty remarkable. It is amazing to see the totals coming in from LA County and Orange County. We're talking in the LA County area 40 hour totals of nine inches. Six, seven, eight, nine inches are those totals. That is not an indicator of what we're expected to see. We are going to see less intense totals come our way. We still in San Diego, though, over the course of the next three and four days are looking at three, four, five inches of total accumulation. For now, things have been very, very light. Today's forecast shows rain is going to be picking up, but take a look. All of that activity is trudging south. So for us, what we've seen so far is particularly light. We're going to see that acti activity intensify as the day continues. We're going to get more moderate and heavy bands moving on shore and really picking up in intensity today in the PM hours going through Tuesday. Coming up, we'll take a look at your rain totals over the next 48, 72 hours. Talk about how much is expected, but we do want to send things out to Virginia Rita with San Diego, of course, bracing for another storm. Todd Gloria reissued an evacuation warning to people living in southeast San Diego. Virginia Rita live in Mountain View, an area prone to flooding. Uh, Regina, I imagine this is the kind of quiet portion of the morning before the wet weather starts. Exactly the calm before the storm, correct? You said uh, it's supposed to intensify as the day moves forward. So right now we're not seeing any rain uh, action at the moment, uh, but you can imagine the frustration that many residents here are f looking at. Um, definitely some fatigue, just knowing that another rainstorm, you have to deal with another rainstorm. So many of them are uh, preparing. They've been preparing since yesterday, but uh, take a listen to what one resident said about what's coming. It's nerve. It works your nerves a little bit because you're not sure if it's going to happen again. Um, we're just trying to uh, prep as much as I can. So city crews have cleared vegetation and other debris from culverts and channels along Choyas Creek, but residents still have concern, many dealing with the impacts from the January 22nd storm. Now, Mayor Todd Gloria has announced an evacuation warning for San Diego communities in flood prone and low lying areas ahead of the storm. So this includes neighborhoods in the South Crest, Mountain View, Encanto, Rolando and other areas of Southeast San Diego that were impacted by the January 22nd storm. The evacuation warning is voluntary and Gloria says if an evacuation order is issued, law enforcement will go door to door to inform residents. So back out here again, not much rain going on at all. Uh, we saw probably some slight drizzles, but nothing. Uh, uh, but we'll have to see as the day moves forward where that takes us. So again, a lot of people are just preparing uh, and we'll keep you guys updated as we see more residents uh, here in this neighborhood. That's latest here in the Mountain View neighborhood. I'll send things back to you guys. Regina, thank you. And this morning, the county and several cities are providing free sandbags for people who want to shore up their homes and property ahead of the storm. Some locations are offering pre-filled sandbags. Others, you're going to have to bring your own shovel. We have a full list of all the locations on the help button at CBS8.com. Also this morning, the Department of Environmental Health and Quality has issued a general rain advisory for our county's coast. They are urging residents to avoid contact with the ocean due to an increased level of bacteria caused by last week's rain. The department warns against water contact, especially near storm drains, creeks, rivers, and lagoon outlets. Generally, residents should avoid water contact for 72 hours after rain events. The warning is expected to be lifted at 9 a.m. today, but county officials warn it can be extended with more rain coming from this storm that's on its way now. And a reminder to download the Alert San Diego app to get the latest emergency alerts from the county. You can also sign up to get county alerts via text. Dial 211 for more resources there. And for more information on how to sign up for all of this, go to cbs8.com slash help. Now, here's a live look at Carlsbad. This in North County right now, where you see the raindrops right there in front of the camera, blowing sideways with the stronger wind as well. So this all comes as people spent all weekend preparing for this week's storm with North County forecast getting the hardest in the storm. People living in Oceanside and many visitors there telling us they put their sandbags to use. They're prepared for the worst. Look at this, protecting things like garages and front doors. They are certainly hoping for the best. We're here to make sure things don't go wrong. Um, 
there's only so much you can do. Right. But we try to prepare a little bit and we try to make sure we're safe. In the last place, I kind of thought you would come and see this type of, of, of rain or this type of weather would be you know, San right. Diego, Southern California. Yeah. Yeah, people visiting from out of town thinking they're going to get a sunny beach weekend. Well, certainly they got it for the weekend. At least this storm set to dump heavy rainfall throughout this week. So be prepared. You're looking at new video this morning of the rain last night in San Clemente. This video taken by our producer Alexis around 7 p.m. last night as the city was starting to get pounded with heavy rain. A reminder, county officials are urging you not to drive unless you have to and never drive in flooded areas. You really risk getting stuck and even trapped in your car. If you do have to drive while it's raining, here's some tips for you. Turn your headlights on uh, as if it's actively raining. Do not slam on the brakes if you start to hydroplane. Simply let go of the gas and keep the car straight. And before leaving, make sure tires have proper tread. And of course, slow down and leave more room between you and the other cars. And this morning, Feeding San Diego is going to be holding their large food distribution event to help those impacted by the floods two weeks ago today. It was supposed to be last week, but it was rescheduled due to a storm. The location is the same starting at 10 a.m. today. Flood victims in need of food should be lining up with their cars at the Faith Chapel parking lot. That's at 9400 Campos Spring Road in Spring Valley. Attendees will receive 40 pounds of ready to eat food, including vegetables and fruit. They have enough supplies for about 750 households. And remember, keep up with the latest weather conditions and the alerts. Even when you're on the go, download the free CBS 8 app from Google Play or the Apple App Store and show us the weather or any damage. If it happens near where you live, only if it's safe to do so, take some pictures and video. You can share them with us through the app. There's a near me section, then click share with us. And as we look at uh, 607 right now, and for us at least, things do tend to die down before they get to San Diego, right? Especially yes. storms yeah. like this. So this atmospheric river kind of loses momentum the farther mm -hmm. south it travels. That's good news for us. Yeah. We're not going to get nine inches. No, no. we're not talking Jeez. nine inches. But I mean, I will say we're still talking five inches maybe by the time we head from today through Thursday. So that is a long period of time, Monday through Thursday, but it is closely in line with what we expected last week. We were talking about an inch per day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now we're looking like the bulk of that is going to come today and tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, lighter accumulations. But still by Thursday, a lot of these models push us to three, four, five inches in total. Today's forecast shows rain across the board. We're going to have lighter stuff from now through about 7 a.m. After 7 a.m., we start to see intensification occur closer to the noon hour, especially. That's where we're going to start to see some of those stronger cells arriving in San Diego County. But for now, you can see how the bulk of it is from about Ventura County all the way down through Orange County. When we look at San Diego County specifically, North County is favored for the heavier accumulations today and especially for right now. They've been seeing those scattered showers all day long, all night long, I should say. And now we're just starting to see some of those scattered showers arrive along the coastline from Del Mar all the way down through Chula Vista. That live look that we were looking at was Carlsbad, where we're seeing some of those lighter bands push on shore right now. Mount Soledad starting to get a couple uh, showers on the lens of the camera there too. All right, flood advisory is in play around the North County area for San Clemente down through Oceanside. It also spans up through Orange County, essentially saying that the rain that we see right now is causing flooding as we speak. So flooding very much possible. Flood advisory denotes a rising of rivers, streams, creeks, for example, low lying areas. That is not flash flooding. Flash flooding, on the other hand, is the very quick moving massive volumes of rain water that tend to drag cars and uh, people if they are in that water. So flood advisory different than any flash flooding risk. Right now, San Diego County does not have any flash flood uh, alerts in play. Those will be issued if we see that extensive heavy rainfall occur. Flood watch across the entirety of the county, basically saying that we're watching for the chance of flooding. And then high surf advisory, not suggested you be getting in that water anytime soon. 60 degrees right now with those showers starting up in San Diego, 54 up in Ocean side 54 in Escondido setup that we see right now widespread moderate to heavy stuff today, especially through the afternoon into early tomorrow. Early tomorrow morning has a good amount of it as well. Most locations expecting two to five inches by early Wednesday. Scattered showers continue Wednesday and Thursday before a dry upcoming weekend. Let's take a look at traffic. See how your roads are right now. So far things are very, very quiet out there. It is Monday morning after all only six o'clock. No crashes or collisions and the green spots that you see. That's your road weather index showing where things are starting to get a little bit wet out there. What we have as an
indication of what's going to come our way is what we see right now north of us in Orange County. Large widespread areas of green showing that most of the roads up in the Orange County and LA County area are wet and then blue showing pooling and ponding on the roads. So that's all coming our direction in the coming hours. Let's take a look at your border wait times right now. We have 115 minute wait at the San Ysidro Port of Entry about two hours in total. Otay Mesa Port of Entry about 90 minutes, so an hour and a half. Coming up in just a few minutes, we will take a look at your rain accumulation model. We'll be timing out how much rain in total for each individual city in San Diego County for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. It's all coming up in just a few. Back to you. Thank you so much, Evan. We'll see you soon. And coming up here, after months of negotiations, lawmakers have finally unveiled a deal to secure our border. The details of that bill next. Plus, more than four inches of rain poured into Los Angeles yesterday alone. Now some of the rain totals are at nearly 10 inches. So look at all the damage left behind by this storm next. Some of that headed our way now. And Chile is now under a state of emergency after wildfires ripped through the region. What officials are now asking people to do? Stay with us. We'll be right back.